Two more things. Uh, let me add again. Welcome back to Louisiana, and I personally wish and hope for all success in your in your campaign for President of the United States for the betterment of America. Thank you. Uh, with that said, um, will you tell us, please, if elected, your commitment to the limitations of executive powers, as well as the scope of the federal government? to the limitations of constitutionally authorized levels to, you know, to basically, as applies to national security and commerce, to minimize the intrusion of government in everyday American lives that so many veterans have fought and died to protect. Thank you, sir. Number one, I, if I sign a bill into law that I don't veto, um, then I will obey that law. I will make sure that the agencies of government enforce that law. That's a fundamental principle of our founding fathers in our system of government. But the second thing I want to tell you is that one of the key elements, and this is very important in the decision making that's made by the American people, is the appointment of judges to the federal bench. I I will only appoint those people who have a clear record of strictly interpreting the Constitution of the United States of America and not legislating from the bench. <laughs> Two of the finest appointments, in my view, were both Senator Alito, excuse me, Justice Alito and Justice Roberts. And supported them as they went through that process. <coughs> Senator Obama opposed both. Senator Obama voted against both. Senator Obama wanted to filibuster Justice Alito. <coughs> my friends, there's a stark difference between myself and Senator Obama about the appointment of federal judges, which might be one of the most important functions of the President of the United States of America, because I know you know these are lifetime appointments. I will appoint only I will nominate only those who do not legislate from the bench and will strictly interpret the Constitution of the United States of America as our founding fathers and did.